Hi, I'm Kristen. This is Ultra ADHD. Um, I found it on Game Jolt. I, I don't know anything about it, don't know what kind of game it is. I'm hoping that it's one of those games that's supposed to simulate a certain state of being kind of abstract but get you feeling the feelings. But we'll see. Link's gonna be in the description. Oh. Uh. Where's- where's the phone? I have a cigarette. Where's the phone? I think this is the phone? No, not the phone. Okay. Teepees. Oh, there's the phone. Male voice. They answered the phone! Oh good, give me the phone. Wait, let me talk to them first. I... <laughs> Hello there, mate. How are you doing this fine morning? God damn it. Motherland, you bruised my arm. Motherland? Run some water on it? Oh, more bickering. Fatherland. Some sibling rivalry! Siblings don't call themselves mother and father. A couple with a baby or older call themselves mother and father. You jumped and grabbed the phone, you cunt. Mind your language, it's not fucking professional. Uh, how about you give us your name, lucky person? Hit enter twice to confirm. Uh-huh, your name's Kristen, huh? I didn't get- I, I- I tried to do lower cases. I hate when I'm forced to name in all caps. That's okay. Frankly, I'm not particularly fond of it, but who am I to judge Motherland? Oh, e. Sorry. Cough, cough. Uh-huh. I'm bleeding! Even better! As you can hear, Motherland is a wonderful human being. Eh, nobody's perfect. I'm sure you're even more confused now than you were before. Yeah. Quick question, hopefully you won't find it rude. Why the fuck aren't you responding? Well, we've been talking for about 20 text boxes and Kristen has never said a word. Uh, I, 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 I,
Is that dog about to kill itself? Get the fuck away from me if you want to keep breathing. Wolf wolf motherfucker. Okay! Item shop. No refunds. No credit, no life. Hold aim, click fire. Hi. Blood tree man. Mildly, mildly injured shopkeeper is just spouting blood out of the top of his head. Store is closed due to the end times. All of our assets and items were liquidated. Shop will reopen once the earth and or universe has been cleansed and or destroyed. Conditions may apply. Oh, I, I got in order to give you something. Uh, to defeat evil. Also legally obligated to tell you that this weapon's hotkey is one and holster is H. I don't know what any of that means. Okay. Dummy dot PNG not found. But it's hand drawn, so you know that's obviously on purpose. Okay. dog now though. I like this kind of two and a half D style where the big stuff is um, 3D assets and then everything else is billboards. Hello. Entrance is strictly forbidden because there's zombies. I look familiar. Silent blue skin smoker. I'll take that as a yes. I'm ordered to grant you access to the forest. Uh, it's not much, but it'll do. One thing. If I have any guts, hit Q to eat some and heal up. Does that mean that I'm a zombie? Uh, have fun, you lucky bastard. Okay, was there another shop? I'm gonna see what the other shop is. It's a church? Prophecy tells of a silent hero who will defeat evil and save the world. Let's all pray to God and Savior for salvation. Okay. If I fight nothing, do I still get the same effects? Okay, no, there's no dust if there's nothing. GTFO! This is, uh... This is not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was going to be a weird psychological little game about ADHD, but it's just a weird little first person thing. Oh, it runs a little faster. Hello! Suicidal person, Luka. So our pastry is made from phyllo dough. Usually stuffed with cheese, mashed potatoes, mushrooms, olive chickpeas, etc. Why are you shifting so much? This originated in Turkey. What? I mean, this is creepy. Is that guts? That sound. Can I beat the guts tree? It dodges? Okay. Oh. Okay. This is weird. Hurt. How do I eat guts? G? G. H? G. One, two. R. Q? Q. Revolver ammo. 
Wonderful, you've arrived. And it's because we're NPCs, and NPCs in this sorts of games just kind of stand around and jack shit. Oh boy. <sighs> Find that blunt descriptions have on my point home more than blunt descriptions. Oh my god, stop it, Green. Very, very, very special reason, not shooty shooty bang bang. Again, blunt description. We require your combat expertise. It's less unprofessional. Basically, you want to bring down the developer of this game. Oh my gosh. Mm hmm. Being toyed with for the sake of some bullshit grand adventure. We've already experienced some of it now. Survival horror, zombie first person shooter. Yeah, whatever he said. We managed to hack into the system and break. Dancing NG's control of us. Well, we can't fight, we can teleport you and ourselves, basically, say whatever we want. But I digress, we want to give the power of free will to everyone, so you're going to just play along, but instead of fighting the final boss, you're going to kill Dancing NG. We're basically going full JRPG here using the power of friendship to kill God. Yeah, that's th a lot of JRPGs are that. God damn it. Ahem! Yeah, so Kristen... Tell me lies, tell me sweet little lies. You're under arrest. Conspiracy against the developer and massacre of the zombie species. Oh. I'll be representing myself in the trial. Legal trial. We'll commence right after the loading screen. Okay, maybe there's a little more to this game than I thought. Maybe it does jump around a bit and lose a little focus. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. October 2nd. Court is now in session. Oh, wait, the developer's prosecution representing himself? Yup. How is that fair? Dancing NG is unable to override the court decisions. How? The defense is ready. Will be representing themselves. Oh yeah. Like how you are there. You the basic speaks functions for this level. Have fun. My way to highway type. Uh. Um, okay, the defense is ready. Oh, he's happy! Is that what I'm supposed to do? Mm-hmm. 
Let's proceed. I am charged conspiracy against the developer and possible murder of zombies. Prosecution calls the first witness to the stand. I bet it- please state your name and occupation, I bet it's just gonna be like blah, 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 blah. Oh! Commander Zed of the Zombie Armed Forces! Don't have firearms. We use our arms to attack. The little yellow flippers! Please refrain from digressing us from the trial. Oh my gosh. This is a really tight heavy game. I did not expect that. <sighs> you look nigh identical to other zombies. Miss Motherland, our people find these kind of comments offensive. Oh my god. I had sick into saying all you humans look the same. Well, considering the art style, everyone kind of looks the same. Damn! You claim that Kristen unlawfully slaughtered your forces. Yeah, slaughtered in the full sense of a word. Our peaceful homeland became a bloodbath. Peaceful my ass. I heard that. <laughs> you can read my thoughts. Yeah, they're displayed in a text box. So we can't even think privately. Please provide your testimony. I stationed my troops at the forest as always, nothing particularly exciting happened for the first three hours. I heard the gate open, didn't think much of it. <sighs> Hear my fellow zombies screaming, running for help. Lovely Kristen killed them all. For no reason, they were just standing there. Zombies wouldn't hurt anyone, not even a fly. They deserve a death sentence immediately. Please refrain from these kind of statements. It's just my opinion. Fence may now start. The bullshit examining. The fuck? You're gonna have to deal with this yourself. But I can at least tell you how to perform a good bullshit exam. You wanna hear it? Your explanation must be a haiku. <laughs> Listen to statements. If you see lies, call them out. Do not lose court trust. That's about it, really. All right. Uh huh. Uh huh. Killed them all for no reason. They were just standing there. Now I call bullshit? Shut the fuck up. You said your troops did nothing after noticing my arrival. You also said I quote zombies wouldn't hurt anyone, not even a fly. How do you explain the fact that when approached, zombies perused me pursued, and tried to kill me? Impossible! But, but I could never... Are you really going to take Kristen's testimony here? We waited out in the forest and we saw firsthand how zombies attacked first. Every zombie I killed wasn't self to Well, not the one I shot. What? Kristen's clearly the first charge and I can't have self-defense. Why? I believe we have sufficient evidence to prove that zombies' trust increased. I refuse to believe the zombies under my command did such a thing. Attacking humans. On site is outlawed. You can deny that all you want. The court unanimously testified that your zombies were aggro. Second allegation, which is shut the fuck up. Uh, sort of language towards the judge he can't get out of court. I'll not rest until I will get definite, definitive proof that my zombies were hostile towards humans. Don't you mean we're not? Uh, proof that isn't you people. I suggest you give him what he wants. We're going to be here all day otherwise. Hey, you started this whole fiasco, you solve it. So, proof that zombies are hostile. Tell them. An objective proof 
that said zombies are hostile towards humans. The troops went rouge. And then there's the guts pick up, so there's just guts lying around, but that might be zombie guts. I might have been eating zombie guts. I don't really want to get into me eating guts either way. If I was eating zombie guts, it's bad. If I was eating human guts, it's bad. Guts? Gatekeeper explained that I could eat guts to regain health. There are health items, there's a possibility I can be damaged, meaning there are enemies. And that's not the way I expected that to go. Well, yes, we're the awesome environmental hazards. You and your friends here had to derail the entire game. So you didn't see them. Yeah, that doesn't mean my zombies were aggro also eating guts. Seriously? I tried adding some shock value. 2 out of 10 for effort. Oh my god. Starting town? Ah. Oh. When I got to the starting town, it was protected by walls. Yeah, human settlements protected by walls. Have you considered why? People are very protective. You lose your shit every time something's out of place in your little la la land. Uh, shopkeeper and the priest talked about the end times. Tell me, Zed, how did zombies come about? I reckon there weren't any zombies before those times. We rose from our graves one day. Loud noises, crazy sky, thunder, fire. Sounds like an apocalypse to me. Uh huh. A week ago! Yes, those are indeed the signs of the end times. A week ago, that's when the walls were built to keep the zombies away. Top of it all, gatekeeper, gatekeeper advised me to have a weapon at hand because the zombies outside haunt humans. Fuck. I should have done this from the beginning. Just because someone says something, that doesn't mean it's true! The guy wouldn't let me out until I got an old pipe from the shopkeeper. You rose from an apocalypse. I was advised to have a weapon on me at all times, and considering Motherland and Fatherland's testimonies- ah! Seems like abundant evidence to prove that zombies are hostile towards humans. What? What? I think we've cleared the massacre allegation. Goodbye! <sighs> Where did that go anyway? Conspiracy! I assume that's your allegation correct, but you managed to vindicate yourself of murder. I reckon it'll be harder to vindicate yourself from conspiracy. Playing dumb now. You know what I'm talking about. The phone call, the forest, the plans to kill me. You two were supposed to be villains. Professional killers in a land without law. Everyone sitting next to that table were supposed to have a big epic boss fight at the end. But no, you people just had to fuck it all up, didn't you? You just weren't happy with your role, your 15 minutes of glory. How would you feel if you knew how and when you'd die? We broke the system to free everyone from your quest, abolish evil, and just live in peace. A cute ideology, I bet you love clinging to it because you just want to save yourselves. Order, order, order. Says the person who started the apocalypse for some bullshit grand adventure. It's a video game, you people are not real. The only one who is, is me! My fourth wall is going to be so sore after this. <sighs> Let's hear what I have to say. Engine is right. This game is getting really pretentious and you're taking it too seriously. What's next? Some kind of bullshit moral message saying that the only way to win a game is to not play at all? Is this... Is this game ma Is this making fun of some other indie game? No, I'm just... And you're all taking it way too seriously. How the fuck did we get from a comedy game to philosophical discussion about fictional characters again? Little self-awareness. I just want to make something exciting and interesting. I got from cheesy fourth wall breaks to pretentious ones. Because it's the sort of thing that happens when you write by the seat of your pants. 
Can we leave the courthouse and go back to the shooting game? Yeah, sure, let's kill some zombies. I feel like the Matrix idea is a bit overused nowadays. You want to shoot zombies or not? Come on, let's go. I got the pretentious ending! Okay! I actually kind of like this part. And the music. I like the music right now. Um, I'm just gonna do the one playthrough. Uh, <laughs> this was this was a weird game. This was ultra ADHD. Um, link's gonna be in the description. Okay. Um, link's gonna be in the description. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks. I've been Kristen. Bye bye.